Hi guys, this is Alexandre. Hope you're doing well. I want to thank you first for all the messages you have been sending me and asking me if I am well because I was, you know, um, not really um, available lately for the for my English channel as I had a lot of work on my uh, French speaking, you know, books, workshop and etc. And COVID also had been, you know, messing out a little bit. So today I'm going to focus on you and I want to give you a reading. I have uploaded a reading this morning, uh, a general message, and I want to do something a little bit more, um, a little bit more um, focus. Okay, so I have two crystal here. We have clear quartz and we have a red jasper. Please focus upon these two um, stones and you know see which one is um, is ap appealing to you okay so we are going to start the reading with those who have chosen the clear crystal quartz so maybe you are lacking clarity right now in your life and we are going to use the cards to say to see what is going on okay so i'm going to do um a five card spread le normal reading you know, I love Lenormand. And our cut card are the coffin and the house. So there has been some changes occurring in your life, in your family life. It could be also about uh, uh, business as well. The coffin is, you know, is a card that tells us that something has changed, has died, has evolved into something else okay maybe you have lost someone maybe you are wanting to have a message from a loved one from you know from heaven and the courts are really pointing that uh, spiritual message to you okay so tower mice book garden and uh roads crossroads so focus card here is the book okay the book is all about information and all uh, things that are hidden, that are mysterious, things that you don't have any clue may be happening right now. And this is bringing a lot of anxiety, okay? And this may also be keeping you away from people, from taking decision. So maybe you're needing some sort of clarity. Maybe you should, you know, go uh, in, a, in, in a retreat, if I can say where you can focus upon yourself, upon what you want, upon what you really need. And I'm also uh, feeling, uh, my intuition is telling me that you're in a situation that maybe people are not understanding what you're going through, okay? Maybe this change, maybe this transition is really something quite difficult for you, okay? And um, the reading is really asking you to take some time for yourself you really need to have some clarity you really need to move forward i am using uh to clarify this reading i'm using my um my scopa my, my napolitan cards which are italian playing cards i was in italy um during 2019 and uh learning about this this uh, style of divination Oh, we have fortune, seven of coins, and we have the six of um, of cups, which is a card that also is doubting, you know, that put doubts uh, on the situation. So maybe that you're not really um, seeing the blessing that is coming your way. Again, you are maybe lacking clarity. Maybe you need, you know, to turn the page and do something else. yeah okay i get it so a lot of trouble here from the past that is really interfering into your future maybe someone from the past is coming back towards you it could be an ex it could be an old friend it could be someone that had deceived you it could be someone that is coming forward with a vain promises be careful be careful because the um uh, the how, how do you say that in English? You know, my English is is, is a little bit uh, rusty. Uh, the um, not the rider, but the 
the knight, the knight of sword, is all about, you know, people that are hiding their intention. It could be like the, fo the fox card in the Lenormand. So pay attention, okay, pay attention. Something is, you know, is not working as it should be. So be cautious. Look for clarity. Look for, you know, for guidance. So ask your guardian angel, spirit guides, you know, whatever, who is watching over you on the other side to really have an eye on you. Pray, light candles, meditate, so that you are guided in your choice. So this was the reading for the group that chose the... Um, the quad crystal and now we are going to move to the one that has been choosing the red jasper red jasper is a great stone if you need to ground yourself if you need to bring you know uh, feeling anchored feeling rooted feeling secure Okay, let's see what the court has to tell you. Nice. So we have the mountain. Oh, and we have the rider. So, things had been a little bit slow for you lately. But don't worry. Things are going to um, to come back to normal. You're going to ride your horse. You're going to do uh, the things that you used to do. Uh, it could be also an, an indication that, you know, something that was blocked is removed or can be proceed uh, this could be about um, moving house this, this could be about uh, traveling this could be also about relocating oh we have a man man dog birds sun and we have the tree a little bit of patience lies because you know things are looking good but it will take a little bit of time the focus card here is the birds. The bird is all about speaking, talking, and, uh, you know, uh, interacting with people. It could be you in a triangular relationship, you know, you with two men or you with two women. In any case, there is three people interacting here, okay? The sun is good. The sun is fun. The sun is, you know, having good times and... Uh, being really energetic but remember that things can take a little bit more time and also do things that are good for you do things that you really um, invest in your potential things that will work for you okay so things are looking good and you need to talk you need to talk with someone i really feel that you really have to have a, an honest open-hearted um, uh, conversation with someone okay I see phone calls I see uh, meeting a friend I see also talking with someone that you used to be really close to and by certain circumstances things has changed and evolved into something else okay so let me see with my Napolitan cards Carta Ducale, let's see what they want to tell you. They're very gossipy, these cards, like the Le Normand. Okay, let's see. We have, okay, the Ace of Swords, and we have the Six, the Seven of, of, um, of Bastoni, of, uh, of Wands, okay? So, um, it seems like things are not going as quick as you would like it to be okay remember that some th certain times uh there are things that really need a little bit of you know of time to be to get ready it's like you know growing fruits and growing uh, uh, a garden you know um if the fruits are not ripe you can't eat it okay it's not the season yet for you to harvest and to get what you're looking for so really you really need, need again to have a little bit of patience okay you have strength with you again um let me see the other cards Ooh. okay so again here we have the um the knight of swords which is bad news but 
you know, someone is going to help you. This uh, uh, Fante de Coppa, which is uh, as the Queen of Cups, is like the, the dog, you know, someone who is really on your side, someone who really wants to be a uh, friend with you, who will, you know, who will cut through and defend you. She has or he has the strength to be of good advice. And I, and I see that you know who I am talking about. There is someone around you. It could be someone who is living. It could be also someone that is in the spiritual world who is helping you in all and who is giving you the strength to carry forward and to fight. Okay? And then you have the Asso de Coppe, which is the Ace of Cups. Okay? Ace of Cups is great love. It's like an, an, arch, uh, an achievement in the sense of relationship. Okay? And I really feel that this all this reading for you who have been uh, choosing this red jasper is about interacting with people, having a relationship, falling in love, dating, flirting. There is a lot of good things happening to you, but take your time. Okay? Don't run. Don't run. You need to um, enjoy each minute, each moment. Okay? W one thing you must know if you if this is about relationship, when the good partner is here, it will stay here. Okay? Take the time. Enjoy the process. Enjoy yourself as uh, being the center of attention, as being love and honor. Um, the Fenty de Coppe is a really romantic card when you uh, read um, Italian playing cards. It's like the queen of hearts, you know, the one that you cherish, the one that you uh, open your heart to, the one who is always compassionate, lovely, the good spouse, the uh, the person that really, really, really is the, the best match possible. So you have this as a focus card, okay? Nothing can go wrong for you. You need to um, enjoy what is happening, enjoy the process, and things are going to be good, okay? So, my friends, I hope that this reading resonated with you, okay? Tell me more in the comments how it relates to you. Uh, have you ever read the um, Napolitan cards? I have various uh, type of Italian print cards. I have these, which is from um, Napoli. Uh, I bought these in Rome, actually. And I have others that I've bought, you know, uh, in the south of Italy when I was in Sicily. And, and and when I was in Milan too, so I have different decks. I can use them in in readings if you're interested too. So tell me, talk to me, and also don't hesitate to suggest what type of reading you really want to to see on the channel. I really want to give you more of pick a card reading, you know, with one or two choice like these with the crystals. And using, you know, decks that people don't really use. You will have a lot of tarot picker cards. You will have uh, not much of Lunarmand, more of Oracle cards and Angel decks and Affirmation decks. But not much of uh, Lunarmand and no more of um, Italian playing cards as well. So let me know in the comments what do you think. I send you all love, light and blessing. And if you enjoy this video, consider subscribing to the channel and, you know, put a thumbs up and post a kind comment. I am really happy to be back and I hope that you will be uh, many to follow these uh, readings with me.